Stop studying the wrong way. Are you tired of failing practice tests and feeling totally lost? What if there was a three-step plan to pass any CompTIA exam? Security Plus, Network Plus, A Plus on your very first try. I used this exact plan to pass my CompTIA Security Plus in less than 30 days and the even harder CISSP in less than 90 days. I don't want to give you a tutorial on just one exam. I want to teach you how to pass all of them. Stick with me because I'll be sharing my entire framework plus a free resource that you need to win. So what's really the problem when it comes to these exams? The problem is most people just watch videos and hope to memorize everything. But this is a broken system. You need a system that builds a fortress of knowledge, not just a pile of scattered notes here and there. This needs to be a systemized framework. Forget trying to memorize a million facts. My system is simple. Exposure, reinforcement, and benchmark. That's it. I'm going to walk you through all three phases and show you the exact tools that I used, including a Google Sheet Tracker that was an absolute game changer. All of the resources that I mentioned in this video, including the Google Sheet, the personalized AI tutor, and everything else are in the first description down below. So make sure that you go and get those resources. But without further ado, let's hop straight into it. I got so lost in the video that I forgot to mention if any of this information has been valuable for you guys, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. I know a lot of people have been liking the Security Plus video, so I'm planning on dropping more like these. Step one, max out exposure. Phase one of the plan is all about exposure. Think of it as essentially trying to map the territory of the exam that you're about to take. And I want you to understand this key point. You're not trying to learn everything out there. You're just trying to see what's out there. So the first step is to find your resource. For CompTIA, everyone knows that Professor Messer is the king. So normally for any exam, I always start off with a great video series. And while studying for these exams and going through the video series, I watch everything at 1.5 or 2 times speed. Don't worry if you feel like you're falling behind the video. The goal is just to get a big picture and take intense notes while you're watching. Do not skip this step. Your notes are the potholes that you're going to fill in later. But somebody might ask, how do you find the right books and apps? Now for any exam that I'm taking, I always go on YouTube and Reddit. First, I look at the books and apps that people are talking about in YouTube videos, and then I go on Reddit and I see what people are actually saying about those books and apps after they bought them. Find the common denominator between what everybody is talking about and just use that resource. Now, somebody might ask, how long should phase one take if you're getting all of this exposure? And it really depends on the person. For me, phase one normally takes about a week if I'm studying for CompT exams. And if I'm studying for exams that are more difficult, then it can take longer. Step two, reinforcement to fill in the gaps. This is where a lot of the hard work actually gets done. This is the longest part, about two to three weeks for a CompTIA exam. The first step is practice, practice, practice. You have to do practice questions. Normally, the number that I usually shoot for is 700 to 1,000 practice questions within this time span, which isn't much for two to three weeks. Now you use some of those apps and practice books that you found in other people's videos and you validate it on Reddit to actually go through and do all of those questions. Because if you chose high quality apps and practice books, you should have high quality questions and these will actually show where you're at in terms of your knowledge for the exam. And I can't stress this enough, the apps and the practice books are actually worth spending time looking into. This is gonna be the backbone of your exam. Okay, practice questions are cool, but is that enough? Of course not. This is one of the biggest tricks that helped me on the CISSP and other exams that I was studying for and it is tracking. You can't guess whether or not you're ready for the exam or whether or not you filled in those potholes. You have to know. For the CompTIA exam, for the CISSP, and for most cybersecurity exams, they post a domain of knowledge on what they're planning on testing you for. And that's normally what guys like Professor Messer make their videos around. But what I also do is I take that rubric for the exam that's normally posted online, and I build a Google Sheet out of that rubric. And then I track myself to see how well I'm doing on the concepts within the exam. So am I getting questions around this concept wrong or right? Honestly, this helped me so much with the CISSP because there were certain concepts that were so hard to make stick, but just tracking them and having space repetition really helps you see, do I have gaps on this exam or am I doing well? So what I would do with this rubric that I turned into a Google Sheet is I would track every question that I got wrong. Over time, once I saw that I was getting questions right around this concept, 
Then I would check it off on the sheet and move on to the next one. This is when I knew that the gap was officially filled. And using this method is how I passed the CISSP, which is known to be a fairly hard exam, and I actually passed it early at 100 questions. You can get this exact sheet at the first link below. Now, what is the third tool that I normally use when I'm studying for exams? And this one is honestly a cheat code my own personal AI tutor. When you get a question wrong, do you always go back to the book or start searching Google? Not at all. So what I did is I built a custom chat GPT tutor. I told it to act like a tutor for my comp T exams and explain why my answers were wrong in a simple way. It was an instant knowledge boost and a huge time saver. The custom chat GPT is also going to be within that first link in the description. Now that we're done with phase two, it's time to move on to the final phase. Phase three, benchmark for exam time. Phase three is all about benchmarking and seeing where you stand. At this phase, you're gonna be taking full length practice exams, not just individual questions. So the first step within this phase is you actually need to find the best exams. Personally, I really like Professor Messer's practice exams for CompTIA. Find a YouTuber that you trust, see which exams that they use to pass and use those exact practice exams. Step two, you need to set a score for yourself that you're aiming on reaching within this phase. Now, this is really exam dependent. For example, the CompTIA exam requires you to get a 750 out of 900, which is approximately 83%. So for me, before I took any CompTIA exam, I told myself I need to get at least a 90 on this exam. And honestly, I didn't schedule the exam until I got a 90% on at least one of the practice exams. Trust me, that buffer is key. It makes all of the difference when test day nerves are there and you also never know what they can throw at you on the exam. And I can say for me personally, I was actually throwing a few questions on exam day when I was taking some of my CompTIA exams and they threw me for a loop, but because I had that buffer, I still passed comfortably. That is the framework, as simple as that. Exposure, reinforcement, and benchmark. That is how I passed every certification without ever having to retake one. It's not about how smart you are, it's about having a proven system that works. If you're serious about passing your next exam, feel free to go and check out some of those tools and links that I mentioned down below. You can download the free Google Sheet Tracker as well as the custom AI tutor so that way you don't waste any time in this exam prep process. Also, if you wanna see exactly how I put this framework in process to study for the Security Plus exam and you want all of those resources, check this video right here. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. I'm gonna leave my contact information in the description down below. Be sure to drop a comment down below and tell me which CompTIA exam or cybersecurity exam in general that you're studying for. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.